He told me to meet him in the park, our first rendezvous, but don't dress up. It will be obvious that you and I are up to something suspicious. Wearing my civvies, I beam with glee. The man of my dreams is coming to meet me. I go to hug him, he signs no. It is what it is, so we begin our stroll. There is a silence we are afraid to break because we know this performance is fake. Our shared intentions over the phone about to lead us into temptation, this we both know. He plays with his ring, I touch my empty finger. Here comes the guilt and it lingers. I let him know that it's okay, but it's not and still guilt melts away. I've waited so long for this and then we kiss. I've wanted this for so long and just like this. He embraces me and holds my hand, makes me feel good as we kind of hold hands. We stroll around the park and watch the sunset. It's getting dark. Sit by the fountain, he holds my hand. We talk, reminisce, and try to understand why he never made me a part of his happy ever after plan. We stand and hug as the hours while away from us. He holds me so tight, it just feels right. At that moment in time, he is mine, all mine, as we take a long walk in the park. Days pass and my conscience becomes awash with guilt because for 184 days I have been coveting the love of another. My better side tells me no, whilst my heart tells me to stay and give it a go. He was yours first, says a voice in my head, when really and truly I have no right to his love. I know this, but I can't help it. It's something about the way he looks at me, makes me feel as though he loves me, sees only me. Something about the way he laughs at my jokes and please, please don't ask me again what it is. It's just him and I want him. If I were to turn this into a game of numbers of who has known him the longest, it would be me smiling in victory and maybe the other woman would be his lady. And then he touches me, intimately but not completely. I am spun further into a delicate web of emotions. His touch is different. He looks into my eyes and we further fantasize. Reality will not happen tonight. Stolen time is now up. I'm buzzing from the magic of his fingers. I wish the feeling could last all night. Are you still with me? I'm trying to make you understand I want that man for all that he was then and all that he is now. And so we go on until the day comes and he says, stop, no. The dynamics of this relationship is unclear. We stand on an even stair, sometimes. He is firm and in control and yet we can switch roles and he becomes the wandering soul. Elements of destruction will lay before us if one's heart should bust and scream the truth of a love filled with so much passion and lust. I trust you're still with me. This love full of tension, heartfelt and forced rejection. I know you're confused. So are the protagonists as they use the heart as a muse and ask questions that will bring idle answers and fulfill their fantasies. What is this thing flung onto the page in what seems like a blind rage? It's the context of my beating heart, the mapping of my loving soul. I breathe in and out and I promise to love me and lead this fiasco which is me and he. But there's no need. The natural elements are separating us again and our destination is not each other.